Hey everyone, it's Chase Chapel, your favorite Facebook advertiser here, and I'm going to be giving you a brand new, one of the best Facebook ad strategies post iOS 14 that you can use any day of the week moving forward with your campaigns, whether you have a low budget or a big budget, you can use this strategy to your advantage to get some of the best results. So let's do this. By the way, I woke up this morning to almost 9,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. If you haven't already, subscribe because it truly does help the algorithm. Now let's get into ads. All right, you results driven people. What we're going to do is you're going to go to your Facebook business manager. You're going to pull open your insights and you're going to click on audience and switch it to potential audience. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to have your ads manager open. You're going to go find your best audiences and you're going to look for the exact audience that's gotten the most results at the highest return on ad spend and you're going to remember that audience. So this is where the strategy comes into place. You're gonna take your best performing audience, you're gonna add it into the interest filter. You're then going to find your second best performing audience or the one that's most closely similar to the one you just chose in terms of ROAS. So right here, I found one that's really close in ROAS 2.45 and a 2.24. The goal here is to confirm whether or not this audience lines up and overlays very similarly. So we'll use that audience here in nature. We're gonna go to insights. We're gonna look at charcoal. We're gonna say, okay, 57% of these people are women, 43% are men. And then our age breakdown goes, you know, from 35 all the way down to 65. It's a down uh, trend in terms of size of that age range. And then the bulk of our audience is really within these four brackets here, 25 to 64. So let's see if we can align those metrics. So we type in nature. We add nature, remove charcoal, and what we'll find is just about similar because women is at 68%, not necessarily 57, but very close. And we still have a very similar trend with the bulk of the age range being right within this frame and then it decreasing as it goes down, as you see the men go down as the age gets older. And so the whole goal of this is to find audiences that are very similar to one another this way by doing an overlap of the audience insights and then targeting those interests. Now we're going to look at this in even more detail with a student of mine in the Facebook ads expert mastery course. So that way you can see exactly what we go through in his ad account to confirm whether or not these audiences line up. And if they don't, would that reflect with bad results? So let's look at it. Just, I'm, I'm really not sure what I should be targeting. I, I want to target people who want to learn how to make money. And, you know, of course, people who do drop shipping want to make money. But it's like I I put it in in uh, like interest insights or whatever. And I it's really hard to come up with other audiences. Yeah, it looks like you don't have access to audience insights, do you? I do right there. It's uh yep. So what we could do is it would be the NYC phone bar. So, okay, let's just go to potential audience. Let's just do filter by you. Do you have any ages set to your audiences? No, everything's open. So 1865 gender, open. gender is open too. All right. Let's just look at drop shipping since that's the closest one. Is this the correct one? Yeah. And then are you doing English or anything? Nope. All right. So. Wow. 10 million. Yeah. So United States, all drop shipping and 61% of it's women. So what you could do is line up your metrics with these other audiences. Like what's another audience you had in there potentially? Um, like for instance, job interview, right? If we look at job interview, it's $83 cost per purchase, which is nowhere near, you know, $18. Right. Right. So let's look at how far that is off. So 61% is women. And then we have, you know, the bulk in 25 to 34. And then these two are the bulk, right? And then it drops down from here. Yeah. So if we go to job interview, let's just see if it's similar or far away. Okay. It's actually the opposite. It goes small to large, whereas drop shipping goes large to small, right? The right. largest category was here and it goes down. This one's the largest category is this way and it's going the opposite way. Same for just about the same in terms of 
you know, the ladies, right? Women. Yeah. But look what happens whenever we do drop shipping. And it makes sense because younger people are drop shipping. So boom, totally reversed. You saw that? Yeah. Even though these stayed the same. Yeah. So when we look at your open and stuff like that, there's a good chance that this audience is probably skewing young. Now, I don't think you'll have this report, which you probably shouldn't because Okay, it's going to give us reach. That's good enough. And look, you remember how we were just looking at drop shipping, how most of the budget was like these were the main audiences and it goes uh, down as the edge goes up. So does this one. Yes. Now, if we look at, you know, let's go to the job interview. Yeah, a lot of it's in 25 to 34, but the rest of it's pretty even and scattered, right? This one yeah. drops. Where is it? I just lost the open. This one drops perfectly just how that graph relayed that makes sense for drop shipping yeah and your link clicks are bulk and here for young younger which makes sense the bulk of your link clicks 25 to 44 yeah whereas job interview you're skewing 45 to 54 and skewing a little bit more in this direction even in the young range you're not getting anything but up here this is where you're skewing right so, I mean, like we can do some preliminary preliminary analysis and like draw some sort of, you know, conclusion here. Now you would need a lot more data to prove this. Of course, this is just one subset of data, but if you pull this across all of your audiences, there's a good chance that it's probably going to line up. Right? So you might want to find audiences that are similar to how drop shippings go. So like, have you ever targeted like Shopify? No, I've never targeted Shopify. Well, it looks identical to the dropping range, right? Yeah. Just like drop shipping, looks like the same outcome. Look, 61% women again. And look, it's dropping down the same way. Is that right? Yeah. And then if we just put those together, let's see if they just stay the same. I mean, pretty much the exact same, right? Nothing really changed. It means it overlaid perfectly. It just doubled right. in size. So you could go after Shopify. Okay. And that that's one sense. way to do it. Now, if you do job interview and you do self-employment, these are probably two different things, but yeah, they are. So, you know, job interviews is something you want to shift away from. Okay. Right. So I would make those changes. So turn off job interview. Mm -hmm. And then go after audiences that are similar to dropshipping, like Shopify. Okay. And you're going to make sure the metrics line up, right? So to get here, I just need to go to audience insights and do my research. Yeah. Okay. So that's some of the audience strategies. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a like and subscribe to help boost the algorithm. And if you haven't already, you should definitely sign up for surge.io beta. It's an ad tracking software for Facebook that's going to allow you to accurately attribute results between your Facebook ad campaigns and the actual website where you're getting the purchases so you know which audiences and ads are actually producing your results.